What up, what up, what up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Jazz. Welcome back to another Mass 25 Online Ring match. And today, we have the Baltimore Ravens going up against the Cincinnati Bungles. And we go on ahead and we put ourselves in nice, some nice, eloquent weather. You know what I'm saying? We're always playing in all this fun weather with, you know, no breezes, no wind whatsoever. Let's put a little bit of atmosphere up on you know the field look like Michael Irvin's living room up here all this white powder looking crazy look like Scarface's basement so here we go to begin the game right here man of course we want to be able to run the ball and, and I know it, it might be difficult because the Bengals got playmakers such as that big man right there Geno Atkins they got hard hitters they got very fast you know secondary so I it's a possibility I may struggle running the ball third and six we run the ball why because we are a habitual runner we are a habitual runner. We will continue running this ball until you can stop it. Right here, we hit him with the makeshift. I said we hit him with the makeshift. And look at him rumbling, bumbling, stumbling all the way into the end zone. So right now, we are up 7-0, and I'm very excited about it. Gotta love scoring on your first drive, man, especially coming through on the third and sixth run. I was a little nervous about it. I ain't gonna lie, a little nervous. Right here, hits me with the play action. He goes deep up top, and we deny that quicker than the Puerto Rican try to get it alone. Right now, it's second down, man. I'm, I'm trying to get my defense, you know, put them in in position to make plays. The Ravens definitely got some playmakers. You got Suggs, you got Nada, you got Doomerville. You know, they, they got some weapons. They got my boy Webb. Oh, he hits me with the wide receiver screen. Very, very, very annoying. Third and one, wide receiver screen again. Back to back, wide receiver screens. And I'm thinking to myself, this is like the second time in like four games I done went ahead and played somebody who will call like five screens in a row consecutively, 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 right? And what's frustrating is that, do I know how to stop a screen? Yes. I've been knowing how to stop a screen for 10 years now. You know, I know how to stop a screen. There's always somebody in the comment section, yes, why are you struggling, bro? This is why I have a receiver screen. It's so easy. Just put that cornerback in man to man or maybe put him in the light blue. Maybe put the defense alignment in the contain. It's so easy, bro. I mean, come on. Come on, son. It's not that difficult. You think you good? You suck. You can't even stop a screen. I know how to stop a screen. My problem is I don't know when it's coming. And I don't like preparing for screens. Why? Because it messes up my defense. My defense sucks as it is. You know what I'm saying? But in order for me to start preparing for screens, I got to put light blues. I got to put contains. I got to do all this other stuff. I don't want to be doing that because it messes up my defense. Why? Because when he doesn't call a screen, now I got unnecessary light blues over there. Now I got unnecessary coverage over there that I don't need because he's not calling the screen. Like right now, you should see I'm preparing for it. He comes out in that set that he called wide receiver screen. I got light blues over there. I got contains. I'm setting up for it. Then he doesn't call a wide receiver screen. And I'm like, damn it. I need to stop calling this because he's not calling the screen anymore, right? And then I come out next play, and I don't put my coverage over there for the screen. Right? Like right here. I didn't put, oh, no, right there. I did put it like blue. It's a move. You see? Simple. I put T-Sizzle on the defensive line on purpose. I put him in a light blue just in case it was a screen. Bam. It was wide receiver screen. T-Sizzle went out there on the flats, laid him out. Now he's looking like a cartoon. X and I's. He can't see no more. He's donezo. He's dead. You know what I'm saying? He went to heaven. Bury him on the 50-yard line at the end of the game. So right now, 31, we go for the wide receiver. Wide receiver, because <laughs> he hit me with like nine of them. We go for the QB sneak. First and 10, we go back to Rice. And again, there you go that. Oh, never mind. I thought that was Big O Gino. Excuse me. That's somebody else who's just mad big for no damn reason. Right here, we hit him with our second makeshift. You know, we got we got a couple screens too. You know what I'm saying? We just don't call 15 of them in a row. Right here, we go back to Ray Rice. And another touchdown right there. Put us up 21 to 7. But he's in good shape. Like, yes, how's he in good shape? Let me tell you. Calm down. Relax. He's in good shape because he gets ball at halftime. So he can score here. You know, maybe not leave me enough time to be able to retaliate. And then get ball at halftime. Score again. Bam. Next thing you know, tie game. Okay, Jess, I understand you. Good. That's what happens when I say relax. Let me let me learn you something. I got you. So right now, you know, like I said, I'm preparing for the screen. And it's frustrating. I hate it because, like I said earlier on, is that when I'm preparing for it and it's not a screen, I'm upset because I got unnecessary coverage over there, right? Then I don't prepare for it, and then he calls the screen, and I'm like, damn it, I didn't have the necessary coverage for it. It's frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Right here, man, he backs up, he's looking, and he throws it out of bounds. Nobody was open good coverage by us. Second down and 10. He backs up, he's looking, see if he can find somebody, he tries to go for a screen, but thankfully, Haloti, oh, 
Khnata comes through. Khnata comes through with the Khnata comes through with the stop right there. First and ten, he backs up. He's looking. He's looking. Can't find nobody open. He's swerving inside the pocket. He goes outside to the right. We die. We miss, and he throws out of bounds. Good coverage by us. That right there was like a ten second play. Oh, what do you know? Wide receiver screen. His go to play. What happened that time? I didn't have anybody over. Oh, wide receiver screen. That time I did have coverage over there. What happened? I don't know. This guy was just booty butthole naked, wide open on the left. Usually you gotta pay seventy five dollars an hour to see somebody that butt naked. Why was he so wide open? I don't know. These guys are digital characters, and I can't really speak to them. But if I could, I would pause the game. No, no, what the hell are you doing? Why was he so wide open? I need answers. And then maybe I can find out why he was so wide open. But, unfortunately, his Madden, his digital characters, they can't speak to me, so I can't find out. All I know is that he was wide open. Why well, yeah, I try to go out of bounds, maybe get myself enough time to go in ahead and kick a field goal. That's exactly what I do. Second and inches, one second left. I kick a field goal, too short. Now we're going to have time, and we are down seven. As I said previously, that's exactly what happened with the situation. He was down 14, scored, got ball at halftime. Now he has an opportunity to tie the game, which obviously we don't want, right? Right there, hold, hold, my controller vibrated, he clipped me, I might have messed up my MCL, my ACL, my QRL, any other RLs that's in my, I mean, CL, RL, all those, all those CLs, RLs, PLs, all those ligaments in my leg, broken, he should be a 25 yard penalty, so right here, why well, receiver screen, that time I did have a light blue, you seen T-Sizzle over there, but unfortunately, he just couldn't get there fast enough, first and 10 right here, quick little screen, and uh, we end up stopping that, so, uh, you know, as, as long as we can just get one more mistake, I feel good. You know, I feel confident moving the ball on him on offense. Defensively, I'm struggling, but that's nothing new, people. That's nothing new. Sometimes I see somebody leaving the comments says, Yo, GS, you're really good at defense, man. Can you give me some tips? And I just respond, You must be new, huh? <laughs> you must be new around these parts. Let me let me let me break it down to you. We're not good at defense. We're not. I may have some good users. That, that's about it I can only control one person at a time That one person I'm controlling I can put in work I know how to put in work I played this game for damn near all my life I know every route in this game Right there it's a <laughs> But he ends up recovering I, don't know, I, I tried to do a James Brown I kind of came out like JD Kiss I don't know um, But like I was saying man uh, You know I, I know a lot of routes So you know I'll, I'll lurk the middle But the other 10 guys that are running around the field They don't know what the hell they're doing Why they don't know what the hell they're doing Because I chose to play and when I choose to play, there's a whole bunch of confusion running around. Nobody knows what they're doing. Right there, we get a sack. I'll take it. I'll take a lucky sack. You know what I'm saying? It happens every now and then. Third and forever. He got the running back, but doink goes right off of the hands. Thankfully, he dropped that. He most likely probably would have went for it, but because he dropped it, he settles for the field goal. And I had a figure he was going to come on outside kick. So I come on outside kick. And like, hey, he just might come on an outside kick. He's like the type of person. Next thing you know, boop, he comes on outside. Thankfully, I was prepared. So we end up recovering that. So right here, man, we back up and we go back to the midshift. And right here, look at my man rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, trying to get to the edge. Oh, I'll eat some dirt, son. Right now, man, first and go piddle with a big reception. Right, we run the ball. This right here is perfect. Best case, now, bam, right on that one yard line. So if we get to waste 40 seconds, and then we whoop, hop right over the top right there. And right now, 28 to 17, we have a not one, not three, not four, but a two. Multiple position lead, dude. And right now, I feel good. I feel good. You know what I'm saying? Even if he scored right here, wide receiver screen again. That's like the fifth time he didn't call it this half. He called it like 15 times this game. Again, another wide receiver screen. Very, very, very frustrating. Now, I'm not saying what he's doing is wrong or he shouldn't do it. I'm just saying it's frustrating. I'm sure if you go up against me, you're like, yo. This guy's running the ball on fourth and 19. I don't run. I don't, you know, I would punt or kick a field goal on fourth down. But you guys know what I'm saying. Like a run on third and 12. Like all this guy does is run the ball. He's so annoying. Ugh. I know. You know, I understand. So I'm, I'm I'm not saying what he's doing is wrong. You know what I'm saying? I run screens too. You know what I'm saying? So don't be in the comment section. Well, you're complaining. No, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's frustrating because it is. Like I said, because this game was a live stream. Link is in the description if you guys want to see these games played live. Twitch.tv slash Mr. Ghost. We're going ahead and follow the stream, son. Like I was saying, the frustrating thing is that when you prepare for a screen and then he doesn't call it. You know what I mean? Uh, like during this drive, I prepared for that screen about five, six plays in a row, right? Literally, the one play where I don't prepare for it, he calls it. And, and, and it, it frustrated the hell out of me. I wanted to break something. I'm like, are you kidding me? Five plays in a row, I put coverage over there to get ready for a screen. You don't call it, right? The one time, all right, you know, maybe he's not going to call it. And I go on ahead and I call something else. And then you call a wide receiver screen. He was just outsmarting me with the screens. And it's frustrating. 
Uh, right here, I didn't mean to score. If I don't score, game is over. Two minute warning, one timeout. You know what I'm saying? All I gotta do is uh, milk some clock. But I end up getting into the end zone mistakenly anyway. So, um, right here, man, we are we still have two possessions though. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not like uh, we gave him an opportunity to tie or take the lead. So, uh, we'll we'll settle with it because we have to, right? <laughs> and um, right here, man, two minute warning. So all I feel like all we need is just one more stop. Man, he backs up. Don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. Somebody, please. Give that gentleman a link in my channel. Let him know. Do not throw the ball my way. That's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check links in the description. My t-shirt shop. I spent over six hours on that bad boy. Go on ahead. Click the link. Visit the t-shirts. I got iPhone cases. I got onesies. I, I'm working on toilet papers, wipes, all that stuff, man. Go on ahead. Check out the t-shirt shop, man. A lot of time and effort and money was put into that shop. So check out the GS Certified Apparel. Go buy yourself a bib. Go buy yourself a t-shirt, son. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.